Hello everybody, I'm Christian from Ruther Hawk and today I'm going to present to you my first episode of Watch Me Model. Okay, so um, uh, the software I'm using right now is uh, Blender. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys know what Blender is. For those of you who don't, it's a uh, it's, uh, free uh, 3D modeling software made by Blender Foundation and uh, it kind of like resembles the function from Maya, more or less. Never actually got, never actually could comprehend the use of Maya. I mean, I can, I wasn't able to actually to use uh, Maya accurately. Um, so the character I'm doing uh, for this episode is Hart. Well, uh, Hart is by uh, Splatoon OC. Uh, yeah. So yeah, Hart is an Inkling and. Uh, my uh, my Splatoon OC, like I mentioned before. Uh, uh, pardon if uh, it's kind of like almost. I already made progress here. Uh, sorry about that. It's that uh, back then I I did make uh, my OC in 3D. However, it turned out to be a uh, it turned out wrong in so many ways. For example, the eyes and. The body didn't look like inkling-ish. Looked more like a teenager rather than a ten-year-old. Um, but uh, if you want me to show you, I can show you the picture later on. Um, but uh, right now, uh, this is the progress of how I did for the first uh, two weeks. Yeah, three D modeling ain't easy. Especially if you're alone doing all this stuff. Uh, the previous one, uh, allow me to f let me find the. Uh, okay, I here have the first render for you guys to watch. Um, that is how it used to look like the first, uh, my first model, the heart. Yeah. Uh, back then, I didn't know what IK and uh, shape keys were. So you can see here, there's something wrong with her arm, and uh, over here, that her skin goes through the shirt, um, and she looks awfully shiny. And here is my second render of her. Uh, I fixed a few things. Okay, here she is. This is how she used to look like uh, when I first made her model. Uh, I know it looks. It's a bit awful. I mean, the face looks okay, but uh, at the same time, the body just looks awful. Um, oh, but I would, I was trying to fix uh, the model and uh, in the body size and eyes. However, I messed it up really bad, and uh, now it's non-functional. So even if some of you can say you can just fix it back, but. I just started over because I wanted to. Besides, patience is something that's within art. If you don't have it, you can't. You can't be an artist. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to do the mouth. I mean, the yeah, the in, the inside of the mouth. I already did the mouth, the lips and stuff, but I'm now I'm gonna do the mouth and the teeth and everything. And of course, that's another thing I had to point out. Uh, the teeth in the previous uh, uh, model didn't look like inkling-ish either. She didn't have the fangs. Um, so this time I'm gonna apply the fangs. So uh, also I also try to fix the eyes. As you can see I use this image as a reference uh, to uh, make the, uh, the model. See? This is the picture. Um, so, uh, how I started this model, uh, I first started it as a plane, as you can see it here. Uh, at first, I started it with a plane uh, rather than with a cube, because uh, uh, back then I used to develop models with a cube, however, it was a bit difficult to get something precise. I wanted to make a model that was precise, but couldn't do it. Uh, 
So I used a plane in which it gave me a bit more freedom to manipulate, to make my own webs and wire, uh, and wireframe. And that's how I got this far, or as you can see. Uh, if you see that the other pic, uh, the other pictures on the perspective screen, so these two, uh, this is how uh, this is how I initially designed uh, part. Um, but as you can see, it has some proportion problems. It doesn't look once again uh, inkling ish. During the duration of this video, I'm going to use the word inkling ish a lot, so please tolerate. Uh, let me put it back to position. There we go. Also, uh, note to self fix the neck. The neck's supposed to be a lot thinner. Okay, so uh, as we continue, uh, there have been rumors that uh, Splatoon would be the next MLP in the future since it just received a lot of hype before its release. Um, it might be a poss uh, honestly, if it, uh, on my opinion, it might be a possibility. Uh, but I, I guess with Splatoon, it would have a more uh, a more positive reception uh, to those who don't follow this game um, because uh, back back in the day when uh, it, MLP started, it, it was just it was intended to be for uh, little girls, and it turned out to be. Uh, an, an enormous hype that even invaded the hearts of, you know, ma of the male audience and grown-ups as well. And then the uh, the Brony community was born. Um, however, uh, nowadays I can relate to that because I'm a Brony. Um, not not many people uh, accept uh, the Bronies because they like something that's for girls, but. Uh, they, they, uh, that there were like many receptions, mostly negative ones, uh, like when my cousin discovered that I watch MLP, he used to call me gay because I watched uh, something that was meant to be for girls. But yeah, uh, if, if this game releases, I believe that it's gonna have a much positive approach uh, because he, uh, Obviously, if the game looks like it was intended for uh, kids, but uh, if it had uh, appealed the hearts of many, so <laughs> it's not something that people should consider gay, at least. But still, uh, there would be some others, like uh, like a friend of mine, who will think that it because it's for Wii U. It would be something that would be strictly for kids, and that I should get it because it's for kids. Everyone has their tastes. You can't mess mess around. With them. I'm sorry, the eyes are just bothering. So anyway, uh, progress so far. I did the eyes, the mask, and doing the mouth. Also, uh, uh, there was another thing that that I that I point out that was my mistake back back in the day uh, when I thought that. Uh, Inklings had like normal human teeth, like everyone else. Um, that's the teeth that, that I applied to hard uh, back back then. Um, and then when I found out that they had like bangs, at first I thought it was creepy because they have like two fangs on the top and a fang in the middle, like some kind of leech. Well, not exactly a leech, but. To, to me, it looked like a leech, even though I never actually saw one. But that, that, that was that was the first that was my first impression of the ink, of inkling of the inkling's dental uh, back then. Now it just looks awesome. I I, th I think it, it was it was a good choice to apply that teeth. Uh, that dent that dental structure uh, to those characters uh, they make them look a bit more badass I mean but that's just my opinion you don't if you don't think that would make them badass uh, I'm not gonna argue with you sorry if 
the, if progress is a bit low, I mean slow, uh, if it's that my computer is awfully slow, uh, I mean not it's not that powerful, so it's to be expected to take a lot more time. There we go. Uh, it needs to go. No, nah, that's perfect. It's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty sure that some of you guys who have already been this kind of process. Uh, if if anyone can give me tips about uh, how to model in different aspects, that would be nice. I mean, uh, just a few months, a uh, few years ago, in high school, I started modeling. I believe it was uh, my. It was another OC that I did of My Little Pony. Um, however, this OC was uh, anthropomorphic, uh, or uh, short term. Let me uh, let me use the short term uh, anthro. Let me allow me to use the short term anthro. Um, and I was originally making a game based on that character. You know, since there have been many fan games in the time, uh, I decided to make one myself. And I'm I'm still developing it. Uh, I still have plans on developing it. Uh, I have some of the assets ready. I am already programming it in Unity. However, I'm having a bit of a tr uh, a bit of a problem with uh, the collision. I mean, with the character controller. Uh, it's that at some point of the test level that I made it Blender, it just goes through the floor. When I reach a certain point of the level, it just goes through the floor. And whenever I try to collide with the wall, it doesn't stop on the wall. It just kind of like goes through the wall, and then it falls down. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's something that I did wrong or is it the character controller itself. But uh, I'm gonna check that out later uh, when I get the time. Uh, also, this is kind of like a bit of a practice for my skills for college. Even though in college we don't use. Uh, blender, but uh, it, it, this can improve my uh, 3D skills. This is not easy and it requires a lot of patience. And I can tell you one thing, patience isn't something that I practice a lot. Ask my parents. Well, ask my friends in general. They, it's kind of hard for them for me, it's kind of hard for them to make me understand the certain things with a calm attitude or just but I was also complimented that I had uh, patience for this kind of stuff for especially for animation um, back when I I was still taking classes in uh, animation yeah animation is a requirement uh, if I want to make video games after all it's you need to give characters life in order to go, fuck, what, what did I do? Uh, I think I did something wrong. Okay. Uh, it's kind of hard when I can only see this shit. I don't, I don't want to get a, the wrong vertex and, I'll, and just place the wrong vertex with the wrong place. Okay. This is red? No. No, no, this is, this is skin. Again, I said mouth. Okay, now it goes. Now it's starting to choose. Okay, uh, this is gonna take a long while. Uh, as I continue to speak, uh, this kind of breaks my concentration. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if I don't. If I don't talk a lot when I uh, do work, uh, when I do 3D models or play, uh, I can't concentrate. Sorry. Plus, if my commentary is stiff, uh, this is. Uh, I have a difficulty. Let's just say it's difficult for me to. <gasps> sorry. To speak while I'm doing something. Even though I always told to myself, I'm a multitask man. 
I can handle multiple tasks. But uh, sometimes when we speak that bravely, we fail miserably. Uh, many friends recommended me to, instead of just going through the vertices and faces one by one, I should I should have at least uh, made half of the face, and when once I finish half of the face, I I would just mirror it, and I have it all done. But I said no, I wanted to uh, edit some aspects uh, independently in the future. That sounded stupid. Yeah, and I should feel bad. That sounded bad, and I should feel bad. Um, so, you know what, I'm gonna leave this episode here, because, uh, this is gonna take a long while. I'm gonna be releasing constant episodes of my progress with this model, uh, very soon. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my, uh, stiff commentary. Uh, and, uh, there might be a possibility that once I'm done with the model, I would leave a base in obviously in the blend format in the future. So once I'm done with heart, uh, I will leave the, a blank template of, of, an ink, of the ink blank, uh, so you, ca you guys can edit and use it at your will. And maybe someday, I once I'm done with this model, I might make some more, and who knows, maybe I can make a full animation with these models. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I will see you in the next video.